Chanel's trying to make a statement. Chanel's trying to say that, dude, we don't like what you're doing here. And we're trying to make it a fact. We're trying to just pick one of the reselling platforms to show other reselling platforms that we don't like how you're reselling our things. Hello everyone, so today we will talk about the Chanel lawsuit against The Real Real. So as some of you guys know, Chanel has a lawsuit against The Real Real because Chanel claims that The Real Real sells fake Chanel products on its website and it claims that it's affiliated with Chanel even though it's not. And what Chanel is saying that The Real Real is not selling just one fake Chanel product but all of their Chanel products are fake. Um, I'm a little skeptical about that because for a website like The Real Real, it's kind of like eBay. Yes, there will Will probably be some fishies out of the net and some of the products might be fake because there's just not enough control over that but I don't think every single Chanel item is fake because how the real real works is that there's the seller who sells things on the real real as a website and depending on what the seller or the consigner puts there that's the end result so the real real is not really like creating the Chanel products the real real is just a platform where people consign buy and sell things and so so my opinion about this, I think there are many ways to look at it, but one possibility is that Chanel is just putting up a flag saying that we don't like how people are reselling our products. I think it's a really extreme statement to say that every single Chanel item on the real real are fake. But of course, it is possible that some of them are fake, but I feel like what Chanel is trying to do here... Um, it, she's she it it's trying to make a statement saying that we don't like how some people are reselling our products we don't like how our items are on like the reselling market or the secondhand market or just basically we don't like how our products are being resold. Chanel is not the first brand that has done this. There are historical examples of brands just being protective of their own product. Tiffany has also historically had a lawsuit, a very similar lawsuit against eBay, saying that eBay sells some fake Tiffany goods. And unfortunately, Tiffany lost, and I'm pretty sure, like I'm 99% sure that there are still some fake Tiffany goods on eBay. I'm not saying that all Tiffany goods on eBay or fake because like the real real eBay works as a platform and then uh, people consign their goods or not consign but people take pictures of their goods sell them on eBay and eBay itself eBay doesn't create Tiffany goods eBay is just a platform where people take pictures of their own goods and sells it on eBay as a platform and so my opinion on this is that Chanel's trying to make a statement Chanel's trying to say that dude we we don't we don't like what you're doing here and we're trying to make it a fact we're trying to just pick to like one of the reselling platforms like the real real and to show other reselling platforms that we don't like how you're reselling our things so watch this flag watch the statement that we're making so on top of that I'm seeing a connection between this lawsuit and also the well-known rumor that Chanel doesn't like customers resell their products so I see this on Facebook groups and I see people talking about this Chanel essays like Chanel sales associates are really against people reselling their goods. So they want to make sure that there are no resellers in their like VIP customers or even as regular customers. Chanel's a little defensive about it. And I've even heard people like customers receive letters from Chanel saying that you should stop reselling our things. So honestly, in my opinion, it's just another way that Chanel is using or is saying that they don't like people reselling their things whether it's like a reselling platform or individual resellers or just customers who resell let me know what are your opinions what is your opinion on this lawsuit and i will see you next time bye